What's up guys, Aaron P here back again. Today I'm gonna to tell you the five life hacks, get it, hacks, that I wish someone told me when I was learning the program. So I'm gonna give you the five life hacks that I wish I knew earlier when I was learning to code. These can get you from zero to developer, a lot faster, more efficient, and save you stress. If you're interested in more videos like this to get motivated to learn to code or just about the software engineering industry in general, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna make more and more videos and I'm open to video ideas. If you wanna leave a comment below, just let me know. So first off, in general, you need to change your way of thinking when you're learning to code. A lot of people have a fixed mindset, which means they think their skills are innate and I'm just not smart or I'm not technical or I'm not good at math, but anyone learning to code has to flip that on its head and adopt what's called the growth mindset, which means the amount of time you spend at something is how good you're gonna be at it. And persistence triumphs over talent every time. The people I see who get best at coding are the ones who spend the most time doing it and not the ones who woke up one day and just could instantly do it without any effort. That's just never the case when you're programming. So number one, adopt the growth mindset. The second hack is to start coding the first thing in the morning. If you have a job or if you don't have a job, just try this and if it doesn't work, fine, but give it a try. And I think you'll find that it is highly effective. When you wake up, don't go on social media, don't do anything except for maybe get a cup of coffee and then pick up where you left off, where you were coding. In general, when you're trying to do difficult things, they say you're supposed to slay your demons early in the morning. So if you were putting off coding the day before or just you're stuck on a really part, hard part of a course, do it the first thing in the morning, you'll find less resistance and you'll be able to push through that resistance and really stick it out and make a little progress every day. There's another saying that goes, if you win the morning, you win the day. So oftentimes if you start out coding, you will do a lot more than you expected you would. Uh, even if you tell yourself, yeah, I'm just gonna do 30 minutes, you might end up doing two. One additional thing you can try if you're going to code first thing in the morning is to code in a fasted state. So just have a coffee or uh, water, ideally both, and try going straight to coding without eating anything. A lot of studies show that in a fasted state, you have a heightened mental awareness that kind of goes back to our tribal days. When you're hungry, you have to focus more on where's my next meal coming from and your senses are almost heightened in a way. So. Really, when I tried doing this, it, it really helped me. And now anything I need to do, I do it in a fasted state early in the morning before work. And uh, the earlier I get up, the better. So you might even try and waking up at uh, sunrise, doing as much as you can before work and just see what it does for you. So super important, super key tip, do coding first thing in the morning. Tip number three is to focus on the right things. If you're just bouncing around from course to course, going from JavaScript to Python, I wanna do machine learning, I wanna do blockchain, I wanna do data science, I wanna do front end, you're never gonna get anywhere. You have to pick one path and, okay, maybe you don't know exactly what you wanna do at the beginning, but the earlier you choose your path and decide what kind of developer you wanna be, even if it's between front end and back end, you really narrow down the range of possible materials you'd want to take and you embark on the path to mastery, which is absolutely what you need if you want to get a job. The jack of all trades, master of none, I basically made another video on this, but this person, yes, they do exist, but they have had years and years of experience to master this wide array of knowledge. If you're starting out, you want to go narrow and deep on one subject like uh, what I recommend is doing front-end uh, web development because you can 
actually gain a level of proficiency in that quickly without having a lot of foundational computer science knowledge. And that can also naturally branch into other things like uh, backend web programming, web APIs, and then you can just build up from there. But that's tip number three, focusing on one thing. Tip number four is to take care of your body. Whether it's not getting enough sleep, not eating right, or not exercising, these three kind of work in harmony to create a efficiently running machine that is your body. Coding is so mentally intensive, you really have to be at the top of your game to learn it and to write good programs. This is not something that's gonna change when you get better at coding, you always kinda of have to be on point. So I would really consider always trying to get eight hours of sleep. The kind of more difficult and less popular opinion that you should definitely experiment with is eating healthier food. So for me, if I eat any kind of bread or carbs, um, I really feel kind of mentally tired. Uh, if I have ice cream, I can't even think for the next three or four hours. So a lot of people just think, yeah, you eat and then afterwards you're tired, you have to take a nap. Uh, that feeling is actually not normal. You should feel energized after you eat. So my advice to you would be experiment with different foods. Try not eating bread for a week and see how you feel. This is really the only way to kind of optimize your, um, your mental state based on what you're eating. There are entire books like this. One is called The Ultramind Solution, which kind of demystifies that our brain and our body are part of the same machine and what we put in one affects the other and so forth. And that really ties into the next point, which is getting exercise, even if it's walking, uh, as long as you're not sitting in your chair all day, which is easy to do when you're writing code, um, you're gonna get a mental boost that is really gonna help you blow through the material. Tip number five, and this is the inconvenient truth that I saved till the end, but the most important if you're serious about making programming your next career. At some point, you have to quit your job. The hours just aren't gonna add up if you're just doing this one or two hours a day after work and saying, oh, I'll you know, learn a little JavaScript and I'll make progress every day. Yeah, okay, that's, that's great if it's a hobby, but if this is something you're trying to make into a career, you need to put in the time. And what I would highly recommend as a kind of system, first put in place that two hours a day. Prove to yourself you're disciplined enough to do it. And then once you do that for a month or two, you just have to say, okay, I need to do this full time if I'm serious about getting a job and I wanna do it within this decade because that is the only way you're gonna get the skills high enough to actually break in and get paid that six figures or whatever the market rate is for a developer in your city. So it's a hard pill to swallow. It seems risky, but you do at some point have to do it because anything less than a full-time effort and you're not gonna be able to compete. That's just how it is. So at some point you gotta leave your job. You gotta leave your job. You gotta put in the work to to do this.
if there's absolutely no way you can leave your job, you will be able to maybe do that in two or three years. But this channel's about becoming a developer fast, doing it efficiently. And this video is about, you know, hacking this process. So if you want to do it quick, if you want to do it the fast lane way, you have to leave the job.